What's up, everybody? It's VR Gamer Dude here, and today on Lunchtime with My Gear VR, we are going to defend the Radial G universe from a new and ominous threat. That's right. So, really excited. I was going through the Oculus Store, and this caught my eye, Radial G Infinity X. Love Radial G on my Oculus Rift, have for a long time, so I can't wait to see what they've cooked up for this. Okay, so let's just hop right into the action here. So it looks like we've got gaze-based selection, um, and we've got three ships. We've got the Hound, the Viper, and the Onyx, but I have not unlocked the Viper or the Onyx, so we're going to go with the Hound. Okay. Uh, okay, so turn head. So now I really got to think. I'm hoping that this has some sort of controller support. I've got my controller pulled out just in case because, man, I don't want to have to steer with my neck. All right, here we go. Here we go. So, you know, first and foremost, I got to say, why? Why are we playing this by tapping on our heads? This would be such a good game for a controller support. But yeah, well, you know, it's never up to us, the gamers. It's only up to the developers. So hopefully they will uh, patch this and add in some needed controller support. You know, I can even see this working well with the new Gear VR controller. I mean, you can just kind of, you know, kind of point where you wanted to jump onto the track. But overall, I gotta say, the graphics and sound are pretty decent, so. Yeah, jump! Uh oh. You ain't getting me. Aha! Nah! You did not shoot that green shit at me. Get some speed. No, no. Oh, cool. Thought I was going to fall in the gap. Jump. Yeah, and overall, the speed is pretty good. I, I was hoping it was going to be a little faster, kind of like Radial G is. Oh! Oh, I got hit by a train. you got to be kidding me. All right, well, we'll go ahead and give it one more shot here before it's time to grab some pizza. But, yeah, overall, you know, it's a little bit less than I expected from the uh, team that brought us Radial G on the Rift, but... I mean, I, I, you know, I mean, I'm sure there's some limitations with mobile and things like that, but definitely want to add some controller support, you know, because this tapping on my noggin here, definitely getting annoying. Ah, uh, slow down. Oh yeah. There we go. I'm having to look where I'm going definitely not conducive to a good experience you know with a controller I could be looking around at my environment while I play but eh, it is what it is uh oh big daddy's back oh no no I did not slow down Oh, fell in the gap. All right, one more try. I will say it does get quite addictive, though. I mean, trying to get to the end of the track here. And I thought I was supposed to have some sort of weapons, but I may be wrong. down. Ah, uh -huh, you can get me. Come 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm like really concentrating. Oh, he got me. All right. Well, you know, I think we'll go ahead and cap it here. And as this kind of just runs its course, we'll talk about this for a second. But yeah, you know, Radial G, I mean, it, it was always one of those really cool, futuristic, fast paced racing, you know, sims on the Oculus Rift. And I can see the similarities here. Um, I, I like the time trial, you know, you're being chased by something aspect of this, but definitely want to add some controller support in here, you know, you, you definitely want to, I, I thought I was supposed to have weapons, but maybe I was wrong on that, I don't know, but eh, it is what it is, I, you know, I mean, I'll put a link down in the description for anybody who's interested in, in getting this one, I think it costs like two bucks, so, you know, you're not out much if you want to give it a shot. But for me today, guys, that is going to do it. I got some pizza calling my name. As always, thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you guys stuck around to the end, you know you mean the world to me. And if this was your first time coming by the channel, man, thank you so much for coming by and checking out what I do here on Lunchtime with my Gear VR. If you want to see more great VR content, head over to my main page, take a look through my videos. You never know what you're going to find in there. And uh, if you like what you saw, smash that subscribe button down there, man. Come along with me the next time I jump in a futuristic racer and race robots or whatever else the heck I'm going to do in VR. And of course, if this wasn't your first time coming by the channel, guys, I always say it and I mean it from the heart. Thank you so much for all you're doing. We are 300 subs away from 5,000. I cannot believe it. And I owe that to each and every one of you guys. So keep helping me out, man. Like it, tweet it, share it. Let's talk about it down in the comments. But for me, I'm going to go eat. This is VR Gamer Dude. Signing off, y'all. Peace.